Veins are mineralized extensional fractures that form in the Earth's crust. So we can see several veins in this section here, and some of these are cross-cutting. But what might seem just like a line on the surface of this limestone bed, when we see it in three dimensions, you can really see how this is a planar feature. So what's happened here is this fracture has opened up. It's opened away from each other. And as it's opened, these calcite crystals have grown from the edge into the middle. And we can see these sparry crystals forming on this surface. So veins are planar features. They form due to extension and then they're filled or as they extend, fluid moves through these features and then crystallizes minerals such as calcite or commonly quartz. Now let's look at another example from in the field. We're looking here at a limestone bed and it's got this very clear white vein which is crossing it. Now a vein is a dilational or extensional planar feature. So what looks like just a white line on the rock here, what is actually happening is we are opening up so these veins are extensional planar features that are opening and we've got crystals which are growing either from the wall or from the middle of the vein as it opens. Now we can see this really clearly here because our what may seem like a line, if we follow it along, we can suddenly see because of erosion here of this vein that it's completely opened up and you can see that how this is this planar extensional structure so this part of the rock has pulled apart and these white minerals which are calcite have grown into that space forming this vein so this is a great example where we can see that veins are planes so in order to measure a vein, we have to measure the strike and dip of this planar surface. So we don't measure the line sort of on the surface of a rock. We need to make sure we turn it into a flat surface. So here it's brilliant because nature's done that for us. This part of the rock has eroded away and we've exposed our vein surface. So I can put my compass on it and I can take a strike and dip. So the strike of my vein is about 100, so almost east-west. And then my dip is going to be pretty much vertical. Well, it is, I think, six, 66 degrees, and it's dipping to the north. So if we didn't have a planar surface like this, we would have to make our vein into a plane in order to take a strike and dip. A vein always is going to be measured as a strike, dip and a dip direction. And this surface has been responsible for fluid flow through the rocks, which have then crystallised these calcites, which are essentially like a fossil of that fluid pathway through the crust. Now the movement of fluid through the crust is really important for loads of different applications. So thinking about water, reservoirs, oil and gas reservoirs, and also geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is produced when we've got a heat source down depth in the rocks. And then what has to happen is fluids need to mix with that heat source. And then those hot fluids are pumped up through fractures and um, sort of planar structures in the rock, such as this one, up to the surface where they make electricity. And actually, in the southwest of England, near where I am right now, geothermal energy is potentially going to be really important. So understanding features like this in the rock record are going to be really significant for thinking about the viability of things like geothermal energy in the future.